regarding the case of Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski who have been on the run since July 15, two weeks now, obviously planned it beforehand to have supplies such as food. It is obvious that they have a gun since they have already killed three people, regardless if the gun is out of bullets or not at this point, they can still point it at someone to rob them or steal their car because anyone would give that stuff up if they had a gun pointed at them. It is well planned to be on the run for this long, the police never confirmed why they went from missing people to suspects, and the RCMP waste tax dollars in manpower by jumping at any sightings of them, even if it came from a credible source. People claim that when they see two people walking together, they assume that it is the murder suspects because they are looking for recognition and want to be a hero. That is twice now that the RCMP have wasted resources on two separate sightings one in Gillum, Manitoba, and now one in York Landing. You have to think like a criminal in these cases, of course they are going to avoid roadways and public places, especially being in forest where they cannot disguise themselves without a shaver or wigs, etc. By thinking like them, they obviously stay in bodies of water because there is a substance you can buy that you put on with water, it's like soap and it makes it so your scent will not be detected by police dogs. Staying in water also makes you get cooled off once you are okay with the temperature of water, and once police or aircraft go by, it's not hard to go undetected underwater until they pass, also by doing this makes you less hot once you start walking again. And overnight it's not hard to make a tent-like figure using just branches from the tree, from up above it will blend it with the forest and no one will see you. This is obviously done well away from the forest so the authorities don't catch them as they are sleeping, and can be done in a water body so the heat source of your body goes undetected by aircraft. I don't see how the RCMP don't see this but burning the RAV4 was not in their plan, it actually messed up their plan because they obviously didn't make it to where they wanted to go and it suddenly ran out of gas and they had no choice but to burn it and continue on foot. They wanted to keep going east to Ontario or north to Hudson's Bay, which they can be doing on foot and the police now have been going the opposite directions. Going to the said places they will be able to steal other vehicles and alter their appearances, and for a week now nothing has happened because they are in small remote areas where it is hard to not be noticed if they were to come out of the woods, they are waiting until they get out of the woods to continue on. The accusation that they went back west towards your landing doesn't make sense, criminals usually don't go back which makes me think the sighting there was actually not Cam and Briar. Police usually don't go on speculation, but with it being a Bear Clan member that apparently spotted them, makes the cops believe it, but really anyone can lie for recognition or to be a hero, and seeing two people together, especially in Manitoba and the surrounding communities, people are obviously going to jump to conclusion that it is the guys wanted. There has been many false claims on social media, and people believe it, and so do the cops apparently. The Manitoba RCMP told people not to post where the RCMP are and just after they arrived is when people in York Landing posted the police presence, which obviously give the fugitives the upper hand because not only is there Wi-Fi in the community but there is a lot of open Wi-Fi available, so if it was the fugitives, no wonder why they got away. It was a well orchestrated plan, they obviously have several cell phone batteries or power banks or just several electronic devices that they use and sit back and laugh at the cops for going the wrong direction, and laugh at people with their fake claims, but also get the upper hand as to where not to go, regardless where in Canada they are. They can have backpacks full of stuff, including clothes from the people they murdered to keep warm at night, as well as their credit cards, money, and whatever else they could have taken. Being survivalists of course they plan to stay in the woods for long periods of time, so it had to be planned good in order to survive weeks in remote areas. I wouldn't be surprised if they shoot animals and eat them. Not sure how the cops can't see this, but no one said cops are smart, and it's our tax dollars they use to waste the efforts in going the wrong directions and responding to fake claims. It's funny seeing how two teenagers are more smarter than cops and are more outdoor survivalists than the cops are. Wait and see when they are captured, if they ever do dot 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 you will see that the cops were in the wrong areas the whole time, which is another reason why the dogs cannot find them.
There is no scent.